Okay, so against Druid, very happy to see the Innervate and Wall Growth. Because it's Druid, I don't really want to keep Swipe here though. So it's going to pass on the Swipe and look for a better minion. Nourish seems pretty good. Double Innervate Nourish, question mark. Nourish gain 2 mana. So then... So we gain 2 mana with Nourish, so we're on 3, then we Wild Growth. Going into turn 5, we'll have 5 mana. Let's go for it, guys. <laughs> I mean, how can I say no to that start? It doesn't actually end up being that good because it's really reliant on our draws, but... It's probably the, the play that'll make, that'll help us win the game the most. We'll yeah, we'll play it right, dude. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking for, you know, Nourish, Druid of the Claw off the top. Naga see what should be pretty good, too. A speak of the devil, guys. Hey, monkey. Uh, no, I just figured that my chances of winning were so high that I should discard my hold hand. So, I mean... Yep, poor man's Astral Druid. Straight up, Sinister. Straight up, dude. Okay, give me the Scenarius off the top here. Ooh, five mana Wrath. Feels good, man. Uh, I don't... Do we Wrath for a one? I don't think we do. I think we just clear this. Yeah, we have to clear it. If we were if we had seven mana, I'd definitely Wrath for a one to cycle there, but I don't think we can. Based on that, it tells me that he doesn't have a good way to remove the 5-5, five five, so I prefer to keep it in play here. Control Jesus confirmed. Straight up subtlety. Okay, second power of the wild, interesting. Five mana Sylvanas feels pretty good, man. I have no time we do trade. So swipe's not really good enough here. Looks like he astral. Yeah, a little bit, man. I definitely see how you think I would have, but uh, unfortunately, we don't have 10 mana crystals. We did do the poor man's astral communion there. Okay, so the wrath comes out. That's fine. Yeah, I like wrathing our own Sylvanas. We need minions. And we get rewarded for it. Yeah, so even though Sylvanas got swiped, I really don't mind that at all. I really don't. We had to cycle there. Absolutely had to, or we would have lost the game. We just can't get away with having dead cards in our hands. I think I like charging here. Yeah, it's just better. We have to win the game fast. Well, we don't have to win the game fast, necessarily. But getting the 4 damage in right away puts so much pressure on him and gives us top decks that'll let us win next turn. So this is me playing uh, very aggressively with a deck that has like maybe 12 cards that are less than 5 mana. <laughs> Thanks, Settledy. I think that uh, I'm not quite as godly as Valera Man, but um, I'm alright at this game, I guess. 100% skill, right? <laughs> That's what Hearthstone is, right guys? 100% skill. Okay. Coin hero power, I like it. He's got to do it to survive. Not bad. The Bog Creeper top deck. Pog champ. I do want to trade into the um, the Violet Teacher just so we don't get punished by like a power. Well, we're not going to lose this game anyways, but worst case scenario, we could if we get punished. There you go. So this is Aviana Druid, man, but um, you know. I just play it differently, right? Most people go for the big combos of Aviana. Personally, I like to play every Druid deck like it's Ego Druid. It's just, I basically have uh, Aviana here to replace uh, the Fel Reaver that was there before. Let's set up this Ragnaros Lethal, guys. We exactly drew Lethal, guys. Okay, so pretty crazy game. Very happy with that win. And yeah, very skillful game. 
sometimes you just get, you know, double innervate into nourish into a while ago turn one. Sometimes that happens. And then you draw a five drop right after. Yeah, just sometimes.